with the USA t-shirt also. Loving yeah, it. Yeah, rocking the, he's always rocking a tank top or something, showing I off think the guns. Luigi needs one of those, uh, like the the full-on American flag getup like Mario oh, has yeah, with the alternate skin. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. I like Luigi's uh, color screen uh, skins, though. They're pretty cool. I think they're kind of boring. Really? I like the colors. I don't know. Luigi's a character that I've loved for a long time. I've never... Mario's meh. <laughs> Mario's <laughs> meh. <laughs> he's got the Mario Maker one. He's got the, the Tux now. And he's got the uh, the America thing mm -hmm. going on. I, I'm... I'm a fan of mo the more ostentatious ones, I guess, really. You know, the ones that look really silly and ridiculous. Uh, Luigi's are, are kind of like, all right, I have one that looks like Waluigi. I have one that is uh, orange <laughs> for some I reason. I know, that was kind of their way of putting Waluigi in, just kind of making the color scheme. Not oh. putting the character in, but just like the skin and memory of Oh yeah. Everybody wanting him to be in the game, even though it was a meme. But I think, yeah, maybe we down, shouldn't even really mention him do. because I'm sure the stream is going crazy now. Oh, I, I <laughs> might, might be, yeah. Memes might start rolling in here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I remember, man, Waluigi actually was one of my uh, favorite characters to play in Mario Tennis. So it was super fun. The one for Switch? Yeah. Okay, yeah. All right, here we go. Pokemon Stadium 2 just got that button check taken care of here. And, um, yeah, this is going to be a really interesting set. Not only um, – I like – it's kind of interesting, too, because we all know Nico plays Shulk, but it's the range. Like, the disjoint on his sword kind of keeps Luigi out, but at the same time, yeah. Luigi does have that new uh, grab, like the tether grab that pulls you in there. It's also um, the hitbox as well. But it's kind of cool because I feel like Shulk outranges Luigi, but these players um, – Hong Kong is usually always really close to so this is going to be an interesting set, especially if he's able to take it. Right, yeah, and I think this set is going to come down to Nico's defense, how well uh, he's able to use those disjoints gen to keep Luigi out. Oh, no. Wow, Cyclone off that of the platform there. That was crazy, that move. Yeah, oh he my God. pulled him in, so I, I guess Nico's hitbox was just a little above that platform, and that Cyclone pulled him into it and ended yeah, the stop. Because I believe uh, Smash uh, in Smash Monado you take extra no knockback, which was yep. what caused him to That's die there. If he, if he was in Smash Monado there, you do take more knockback as well. It's kind of like a double-edged sword. You're racking up more percent, but you are uh, the knockback does affect you as well. Um, so he died a little early there, actually. Wasn't yeah. his DI in the was uh, the Smash Monado was going. Oh, okay, oh, going some aggressive edge guarding coming in from Nico. Yeah, a lot of the time he likes to go off. Uh, at the ledge there, and then he'll go off stage and want to get that fair either in Smash Monado or he'll go for that uh, back, that uh, up beat at the end there. So that a lot of the time we'll take the stock at the ledge there. Dangerous situation. But here we are, kind of back to even here. Oh, oh. God. Oh. I can't These early it's stocks so coming in from Con Con are just spicy. Up B, man, is scary. Yeah, just playing against Luigi, knowing he could up B you at any minute is terrifying if you make the wrong play, of course. But yeah, if you're landing with a laggy move, aerial, laggy option in general, um, yeah. Up, you got a shield, all that good stuff. Down throw up, yeah. scary. And that, that down B, so, such a risky play because, you know, it leaves you open for an attack with its long lag, but it also armors through a lot of moves. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, Con Con. Dude, actually just kind of playing super patiently right now too. Good parry, not converting off of that, but he's kind of playing at a distance here, kind of keeping him out uh, with the fireballs. Air dodge to the ledge. Oh no, the situation. Uh, uh, oh. The no, the down air. He was so scared, you saw him edge. He, oh my God, he directional air dodge, <laughs> tried to grab the, the, the stager. I think he thought he was going to grab it, but he didn't. And I think he panicked a little bit. And yeah, there was just, man. That was unfortunate. That was crazy, He yeah. kind of like shook his head there too. Yeah, this is where a lot of the time too, Shulk kind of thrives at the edge, of the edge here of the stage, so. He goes suddenly dictating the p pace of this game, but all Kong Kong needs is a few good hits and he's gonna close out the game, so. It's close here. Fair, okay, Luigi in a bad spot. 
there's that up B we were talking about. Saving and him. Yeah, Stolt doesn't have to be reverse up B, so he's still able to grab, grab uh, the platform above him there, even when he's facing the wrong way. That's oh, both. back throw. Terrifying. Must not have been able to go for the uh, oh. down throw, uh, uh, down okay. B confirmed there. That was good. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. There was Cyclone there at the ledge, I thought. Especially because that move is super laggy. That's gonna be the stock. Wow. Wow, that was a that was a heck of a first set there. That that was actually really close. Um, and it went back and forth there. That's, yeah, that's what, what you love to see in one of those sets. Just I feel to, like Honkan had that early lead, but then Nico came in and started dictating the pace of the match. Uh, but then Concon came back right at the end and ended the game yeah, with I the feel final like say. There was um, on Concon's part two there. There was a lot of adaptation. He was recognizing. Um, what Nico was going for and what he wanted, especially off at the ledge there. I like the Cyclone too at the ledge and he dropped down, was able to up B on the platform. He didn't land on the stage, which was good. He knew that if he did super laggy, Nico would have punished him for it. So I feel like Concon had really great awareness there. He knew what Nico was looking for. And yeah, he just played how he had to play, patient, and went for Luigi's pretty... Not broken, but great moves. Yeah, Cyclone and Uppy, man. Yeah. They're, they're scary. Luigi, is, as a character, is just waiting to destroy you. You know, Waiting for you to make that slip off or that one read that's going to... He's just so ju good. <laughs> He's both of these characters are so good. All right, Buster Mode setting it off. Nico wants to... Ooh, 35% already. Yeah, that Monado doing some big damage. Buster Mode also going to be doing that extra damage there, but also if he gets hit, we'll do more damage to Nico as well. All of his uh, arts do uh, kind of are like double edged swords and stuff, but it's, it's cool. Nico definitely knows how to optimize uh, this character. Ooh, going for the down air there, not going to connect though. But that was interesting. I saw the, the trip come out, but the second <laughs> the, of uh, the dash attack knocked him out of it. Oh! That's really unfortunate. I, we didn't even kind of see what happened there, but he <laughs> that was he actually. Just, he got hit by the side B, and then uh, Luigi had so much rage, got the bounce off. I, I guess Nico just wasn't expecting it and didn't yeah, tech he, it. He didn't tech the, the stage there. I don't think he expected that to hit him. He was going off stage for a fair. Um, probably wanted to go off and give Con Con, so that kind of caught him by surprise, and he was like, ooh, missed tech. All That's right, but we have Nico reasserting himself in this, and... Uh, Putting himself, himself back in the lead here. Oh my god, the misfire it was almost really bad. Yeah, those Luigi's <laughs> always looking for those misfires. Kind of. That cyclone again, so safe. Okay, oh, big combo coming out. Mm -hmm. Alright, patience. Man, that nair. Good wait there from Kong Kong. Yeah, he, he's patiently kind of just sitting here looking for those back airs there if you're looking uh, looking at that. Nico also is just, um, he's also adapting really well. Playing a lot. Wow, oh. less, I was going to say less aggressive, but never mind going off the stage there. Applying so much pressure at the ledge and off stage uh, to Kong Kong. Usually... <laughs> Like with Luigi too, especially like back in Smash 4, you see Luigi applying so much pressure in those uh, areas. So That's right, with those the Cyclone Gimps. Mm -hmm. Going on. Gimps. Uh, yeah, I think uh, it's a little skewed more in... Uh, uh, sorry, in Shulk's favor to be off stage, uh, just because Luigi doesn't have a lot of good... Uh, or be aggressive off stage, because Luigi doesn't have a lot of good ledge drop options. He's not really able to punish a bad choice. Okay, that's a great option to get back onto the stage there. We're in another scary situation for Con Con here. Nico, I was going to say, still holding on to two stocks, just lost the stock. This could be anyone's game at this point. Con Con loves Here's to go for the, ooh, this oh is going to be some huge oh, damage. Oh, okay, he messed the combo up. That could have been, that, that yeah, yeah, been, been the stock. That could have been the That could have been the game. Um, but yeah, Con Con, oh my god, yeah, up tilt. I was going to say that, though, that Kong Kong loves to throw out that Cyclone uh, in that disadvantage situation. When he's when you think you have him and he's off stage, he just throws out the Cyclone, and then suddenly you're the one who's dead. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, definitely. That's um, for any Luigi, for that matter. Cyclone's just when you're in disadvantage. 
they always go for Cyclone. That's some really good news. Yeah, I think Concon in particular likes to go towards the end of the set when it's kind of a last talk situ situation. He knows his opponent is greedy and wants to end this, the set. Mm -hmm, definitely. Okay, stage we're getting up. I right, can see the stage. We're getting a counter pick on stage here. What's happening? All right, Battlefield. Yeah, we're gonna we're not gonna have any platforms here at all. Just gonna be all neutral. Yeah. FD. Okay. Only busting mode already. I like this pressure. Nico's already playing. Already has him at the ledge here. Yeah. Good patience for both players, though. Konkon not taking any more damage there. Just waiting. Nico out. Oh my god, oh. the F smash. <laughs> that would have killed him. It always, it kind of like, that's like another thing too, is Nico's movement. That's something we also haven't gotten to talk about. I feel like that is the biggest. Um, it's like butter. It, yeah, it's super smooth and he's constantly mixing up. It looks like he was going to dash back and then he just turns around and like an F smash. It's super tricky and um, man, it's, it's scary. Oh my god, the spacing, movement, all that is looking great right now. Yeah. It's looking like Nico's game. conkon has got to do something quick, Ooh. otherwise it's going to slip away from him. Yeah, he tried going for something big right there. He wanted to get that down air off stage, wanted to put him in a situation where he couldn't recover. Spacing out the back air with a back air of his own, putting up this edge guard situation. Uh, ledge trap situation. Yeah. Jumping around here doesn't, it looks like both players too are just kind of like waiting. No one really wants to overcommit, especially uh, with Schultz too. He, there is such a safe option as well, so it's spacing right now. It's looking great, just kind of creating, like waiting for an opportunity. That's what he's looking for. There he goes, recognizing that Comic Cons don't want to get recovered that way. That was the only way for him to recover, so right, going yeah. off safe with down air, man. This is a... Uh, Edge card's coming out big for Nico. Almost looking like a three-stock there. Hong Kong oh, definitely needs to figure something out. Just missing with that there. Ooh, another. Good Aerodon thing he shaved there. his jump. Okay. Mm, I feel like Hong Kong could have pummeled there, but I feel like he didn't. He wanted to mix up the eye real quickly. Maybe? I don't know. I feel like, you know, we realize that that's his... He pro Maybe he did think that was going to kill, though, because that's, like, really his like, best kill throw, so... Oh, no. Yeah. There with this three stock coming out. I mean, honestly, the first game that we saw there.